Hi guys, once again it's Smiley Saiba again. I came with another video. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different than before. No challenges, no funny video, no makeup tutorial, though I'm not a makeup artist. Today we are gonna talk about real life, what's really happening in my life. If you haven't subscribed yet, click the subscribe button. It's a really good news for you guys. Like a lot of people, uh, I all already said in my previous video that a lot of people sent me requests on Facebook and I couldn't accept it. You guys find me anyhow I don't know on Facebook so I made a group for you guys already 450 people already joined that group if you want to join that group feel free to click a join button it's called smiley lover I'll put link down below and make sure you follow me all my social media also I'm gonna put link down below so last time I uh, like before five months I made a video of that day I was so frustrated so dejected I really didn't know that what should I do that day was the first day of Ramadan when I quit my job from McDonald's Japan so for my hijab because they didn't let me wear the hijab in McDonald's so I got a lot of good comments got off like weird and like some someone told me to get lost from Japan but I'm still in Japan because I love Japan so if you want to watch that video I'll put something here so click it and watch that video and today we are gonna talk about being hijabi in Japan so uh, I was not hijabi before you guys all know that last like 2015 uh, Ramadan I started to wear hijab because I thought like I should do it so I started to do it so yeah so I faced like a lot of cultural shocks good things bad thing in Japan I really wanted to share with you guys people send me requests in my social media that hey Saiba sister can I come to Japan I wear hijab uh, will they let me wear to Japan obviously they will let you there is no one in this world who can take your right from you you can wear like hijab anywhere in this world right so yeah Japanese uh, trying to get Muslim friendly so luckily we have prayer room in like I think Haneda Airport Tokyo and Narita Airport already and I am really lucky Alhamdulillah in my university recently they made a prayer room and it's a really safe boys and girls are separated in that room and we can go there and prayer and talk about Islamic thing and I am really lucky that I live near the mosque it's a central Kyushu mosque I'm really lucky I can't say I can't thanks Allah too much for this because I was when I first came to Japan I was like so frustrated and like I was so alone because it was my first time to leaving my country and come to different country and uh, that time I was like I don't know I was searching for something like I need to talk with someone I, I'm alone I was feeling like really lonely that time I got mosque here and alhamdulillah we gather together we have good time together all sisters and brothers over there and yes and being hijabi in japan is not hard you can wear hijab anywhere you want actually like if you talk about local japanese people they really don't know uh islam so if you are not um familiar with islam so i want to tell you a little bit about islam that islam is a religion of peace this is the second highest second biggest religion of all, all of the world we believe in peace and uh, islam is uh really against of killing human and other animals also because in Islam it say that if when you kill one person you kill the whole humanity so this is the really easy thing for Islam and yeah and in uh, according to Islam we, we girls have to be in veil and also the boys have their own rules to lead their life so it's easy so the first question I was asked from um, like uh, from people from Bangladesh and other countries that sister I really want to come in Japan I want to study here and uh, can I get a part time job uh, if I wear hijab actually right now Japan is really not ready for Muslim people honestly but yeah like some people like some place will let you work with your hijab and they will also give you time for prayer and some place will not understand you that much because actually they really don't know what's that why you have to cover your head or something but if like what happened with me in McDonald's like first they took me as who I am 
and I worked there for two days and then they tell me like you can't wear hijab in this outlet of McDonald's because it's our rules so if you want to quit the job you can quit it or otherwise you have to take it off your hijab so I quit the job so it depends on the actual job so where you want to work and there is a lot of opportunities that Japanese govern in, you know, government is giving to international students so a lot of international not only hijabis other countries also getting good job in Japan if you are already graduated from Japan second question people ask me about halal food so like can I get halal food in Japan? Is it possible to get? Girl, you can get halal food in Japan, especially in Tokyo and big cities. I live in a really small city here. Uh, it's a really countryside and I love countryside a lot. So what I do, I um, for the meat and everything, I apply online like i order online and they bring it to my home and i pay the money i do like that and yeah it's really hard to get halal food in japan <coughs> and actually like because they use pork oil and alcohol um in i think 90 for 99 percent thing but yeah but um if you know a little bit japanese and if you know some like japanese character or kanji so it's uh, like really easy for you find the halal food but yeah if you ask me like is it really hard here to being uh, like is it really hard here to eat halal food and is it really hard that to you know maintain Islam in Japan yeah it's kind of it's quite hard to get halal food and maintain these rules because um, I told you before like Japanese not really that ready for Muslim people but still Japanese government are on the television every day is saying that we are ready for Muslim people and we're trying to make halal food we are trying to learn your religion and your culture so I hope within 20 years Japan gonna change a lot yes discrimination third thing I asked about discrimination actually not for hijab Japan is really homogeneous country so everyone knows that and yeah for the, in, in a local place you will feel discriminated because when they see like people from other country like gaikoku genius when like foreigners they feel shy they feel a little bit scared they feel like oh my god what's there like how can i talk with them they know english i don't know english like some something like that and language barriers is a really uh really big thing in japan if you don't know japanese it's hard it's hard girl it's hard to live in Japan but the most important thing that if you don't know that language actually Japanese people try their like best to you know people try their best to express their feelings uh, in, in Japanese or in some other way in the uh, with the gestures and everything but yeah it's really hard if you don't know Japanese to live in Japan and discrimination yes I I face some discrimination in Japan so when uh, I go to work especially like um, when they see like foreigners they are just a little bit um, their behavior is a little bit like a little bit different but yeah but the thing is like they like it it's just need time to adjust because this is a really homogeneous country Fourth thing I've been asked a lot that Saiba I saw like it is really rare to see hijabi girl living in Japan alone and uh, uh, in public place do you feel any kind of harassment and something mm -mm, no Japanese people are not that they're not gonna harass you they're not gonna like tell you hey who are you get the loss from my country no 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 they're not gonna do it I didn't feel that kind of thing um, but um, the most uh, problem I, I'm feeling right now it's like for the food <laughs> because guys like it's really hard to get halal food here so yeah that's what I'm facing and right now not that kind of discrimination I faced what I faced like in McDonald's Japan I already forget it and yeah and you guys asked me uh, am I working or not in Japan yeah I'm working somewhere for three years um, in Japan and they're a really nice person uh, and uh, yeah some people ask me like are you working in Japan and where you are working blah 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 yeah I'm working somewhere for three years and yeah I like that place right now because uh, they know me right now and I'm really like you know known to them so now they're being friendly with me uh, before when I was in uh, my first year I my Japanese was not that good so even I couldn't 
couldn't communicate with them and even they didn't understand me so I faced a lot of like cultural differences and cultural shocks and a lot of things but right now yeah uh, Alhamdulillah I'm fine I'm okay so if you are planning to come to Japan it doesn't matter you are Muslim Christian or other religion the most important thing these are learning the language learning their culture and like try to understand uh, their uh, point and uh, like try to understand their outlook of their life so it will be really easy for you to stay in Japan um, like for a long time a lot of question are that the same question in a lot of time I got asked by Japanese people that like you were Muslim and that girl and that boy is Muslim but that girl is not wearing hijab so why you need to wear hijab so uh, actually it's uh, it's really hard to explain why I need to wear hijab why they are not like wearing it actually it's personal choice of people so um, that's what I did that time like I said that it's a personal choice it's a personal belief but according to Islam we need to cover our body so it's not that wearing hijab you can wear whatever you want but you need to cover your body you have to be like that according to Islam so I express them and then they were like oh okay okay they try to understand me so I think it's about all communication and yeah but some places will not let you to work with hijab that's a thing yes so I hope you like this video sometimes I feel like um, no need to like sometimes I feel like like there is no need to make challenges or make up videos or something else but there is like it's really important to communicate with you guys because uh, I think you guys are really important for me in these days in my life because I live in alone in Japan and I have nothing to do except to talking with you guys so I hope you like this video if you have any question just comment below and any request just comment below if you want to know about Japan and anything just comment below and feel free to contact with me on my Facebook group or I'll put all the links my social media links down below so if you like it give a big thumbs up and subscribe me and share it guys you guys all know that sharing is caring and I'll see you next time your friends smiley friends smiley server and zoop it's <laughs> a little bit over my teeth a little bit here okay uh, yeah guys you have to think about it carefully because if you don't put the lipstick perfectly 